Mr. Vassetti? Hey, you bought the old print works? Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, returning to Vice City, having finished off Red Dead Redemption 2. If you have finished the mission Copland and now have Versetti Estates where you're earning money and you're wondering, where are all the missions? Is this it? You're confused. Well, unfortunately, this is one of the game breakers I remember when I originally played Vice City. Unfortunately, it wasn't fixed. You have to buy a property called the Print Works in order to start the next cycle of missions. And if you were foolish and spent your money on guns and ammo and other things and you don't have 70000 to purchase the print works, you're going to have to earn money. And I'll show you how to do that at the end of the video. I'm going to show you the print works mission called Spilling the Beans. And then I will show you how to earn some money if you have accidentally ran out of money. So let's get on with Spilling the Beans. My advice after purchasing the print works is to use the save icon and save, then go into the main mission of spilling the beans, because you'll need it. Mr. Vassetti? Hey, you bought the old print works? Yeah, my old man used to work on these. I used to spend the evenings with him cleaning the rollers. I was going to follow him in his trade, but I lived a different life. You planning on selling the old machinery? Breaking it down? I'm thinking we might print something. A newspaper, a magazine. Oh, crap, Sonny. Low-grade crap. I've always fancied printing money. It ain't too hard. You know, I've been doing it on a small scale for years. Really? Sure. But we need some good quality plates. Of course. There's a counterfeiting syndicate already operating in Florida. A syndicate? Yeah, with just rumors is all I've heard. I know a man who's good with rumors. If you have a car, you don't need to take the cab. But, uh, like I said, if you screw up, and suddenly your car is destroyed and you need to reload, your car will be gone. So take the cab one way or another. It will save you a little time and a lot of headache and you can reload the mission. Actually, I'm going to mute the audio for the club because I could potentially get gigged for copyright infringement. And I don't want to. Even though I've turned off the background audio, you can still hear a decent song playing in the club. So you can see Tommy is a little rough with Kent Paul. And so, yeah, he's going to get the information he needs. Now, the club would have been a preferred purchase, but it's 125000 and if you don't even have 70000 to purchase the print works, well, you're going to be doing a lot of working and earning money in order to buy the club. So, buy the print works and do the save before, because if you die, you can just reload, enter the print works, Fast forward the dialogue, 
take the cab, fast forward the dialogue with Kent, Paul, and then continue on down toward the port to do the next part of this mission, where you could potentially end up killed. When you get to this ship, you're going to have to board it somehow, and there is security. And you have to try and not be spotted, since this is not a pass-fail, bronze, chrome, silver, whatever. Uh, do your best to sneak on, but use the most effective weapon you have. And I'm going to use the... Well, pistol, this guy is upsetting me. He's shooting at me. So, yeah, pistol's not going to do any good. I'm going to have to switch to the M4 and take him down at a distance, which is the best whip weapon you have. Otherwise, the shotgun is the next best, and you're going to have to handle security. Once you shoot him, alarms go off, and you're going to have to fight your way aboard. The alarm goes off, and now I'm going to try and lure the guards down the gangplank, kind of narrow their focus so I can shoot them, but they aren't going to come down yet, and you notice there's a health icon. You can get to that icon at the end to help your health up, otherwise you're going to have to board the ship eventually and kill the guards. They also have submachine guns, which are real handy. Once they start coming at you. And again, I'm trying to lure them down the gangplank so that it's easier for me to take them down one by one instead of in a group fashion where they can swarm you. And they aren't coming here. So there's that guy running. And then this guy I shoved. It. Let's see. There they go. The guards are coming. And I can take as many of them down as possible without taking as much damage as what is going on now. They are, oh, well, I might as well just run up. There is a body armor near the area you have to get to. And you got to run here, try and kill as many guards as you can and pick up their submachine guns because that's a useful weapon to have. My foot so far up your ass. Oh man, I still got it. You little work. I mean business. Unfortunately, this boat is lousy with guards, and if I take too much damage, eventually, yeah, I'm going to end up dead. So I'm going back up the stairs to try and take down the guards on the tower here and get to the door where the uh, item I need is stowed. And again, there is body armor. Once you go up this, you see the body armor? I'm trying to get to it. It's difficult. Yeah, this is a pain. But now I have new body armor. Now, take this guard out and 
take his money and weapon, and here we go. This is where we need to go. Getting off the boat is a little easier than getting on, or should I say ship, and then you just go down this area, and you go down the other, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, stairs, you shoot these guards, don't worry too much, you can hustle out down this area and shoot the guards, you'll get a boost in health once you get down the gangplank. And then there is another area where you can grab body armor if you want to. I'm taking my shot. As you see, you just got that health boost. Across the street here is body armor. Just back your car up, grab the body armor, don't get run over or hit by trucks. And getting to the print works is easy enough, and then the wanted level disappears. Mission passed, save, and you can move on to the next mission, but like I said, I'm going to show you how to earn money if you need to get up to that 70000 in order to buy the print works. So first suggestion I have and I will show you is here. If you need to earn some cash, my advice, run over a group of people. You get a one wanted level. You can grab all their cash. This is not a huge group. But you can grab all their cash and get away. Not a lot of money, but bigger group, more reward. And then my next suggestion is here. Try and do some crazy stunt jumps like this. There are other jumps around, but this, yeah, you might earn a little money. Not nope, I didn't, but it was fun. Doing stunt jumps will earn you some money. Unfortunately, one of the things you cannot do is exploit the save at Versetti Estates in order to gain money. You make about 5000 a day. Well, if you try and save, save, and save again, uh-uh. It's not building up money. You have to run around and drive around in order to get more money. And unfortunately, that was a game breaker glitch that they did not fix. And, well, it kind of leaves me worried if I ever play San Andreas again. There was a game breaker glitch with the um, pilot training. And if you go to my San Andreas uh, playlist and take a look at that, I'll show you how to fix that. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you found this video informative and you like it, hit the thumbs up icon. Feel free to leave a comment. I do my best to respond to all comments. Uh, if you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon because I post four videos involving video games a week. And you don't want to miss out. Again, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And most of all, thanks for stopping by.